What's up guys, it's Jake here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to create your very own Minecraft server. Um, there will be some port forwarding involved, but uh, I've made the video nice and simple and you shouldn't have any trouble getting your server started. All right, so without further ado, let's get this baby rolling. Personally, I like to start out by downloading all the files that I need. Um, just so I don't have to worry about it later. Uh, so we're gonna go and head over to a web browser and we're gonna head over to mcserversoft.com slash downloads. Uh, there's gonna be a button in the middle that says download. Um, once you've downloaded that, you just essentially choose the file location that you wanna store it. I just chose my E drive. Um, and once you've downloaded that, just exit out of it. And then we're going to move on over to Git. You're going to need this file later on when we're opening some of our Java files. Excuse me. Um, you just want to choose your operating system. Mine's going to be Windows. And then it should prompt you for 32 and 64 bit. Yep. And uh, you're just going to choose whichever your operating system runs on. Mine's 64 bit. Um, so Git is kind of confusing when you try to install it. There's going to be multiple windows pop up. Uh, you're just going to leave the default selection selected and just keep pressing next through all of those windows. And once you're done installing Git, you are going to head over to Jenkins. Um, this is hub.spigot mc.org and I'm not going to finish the rest of that URL. Uh, you don't have to worry about um, you know really paying attention to the URLs. I'm just going to copy and paste them into the description um, so you can just do the same thing when you're put, plugging it into the web browser. Um, so on this web page uh, you're going to see the build history over here on the left. It's going to from the top it's going to show the most recent file. Um, you're going to want to click the top file so I'm going to click 91 And once you click 91, you're going to click Build Tools under Build Artifacts. And no, it's not going to harm your computer. Just press Keep. All right, so let's navigate back to our desktop. I went ahead and created a folder named Tut for tutorial. Um, what you're going to do is open up your downloads and drag and drop buildtools.jar into that folder temporarily. After you've done that, you're going to want to go into the same folder, right click and create a new file. You're going to make it a text file or text document. Your icon might be a little bit different. Um, you might be using um, Notepad instead of Notepad++. So you're going to click text document and what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to name it start.bat and press enter and it's going to prompt you, you're going to press yes and as you can see the icon changes into a batch file so once you've created that batch file you're going to want to right click it and edit with notepad or edit with notepad plus plus whatever you use it's going to open up an, in, an empty text file and like I said earlier in this video I'm going to include everything that you need to copy and paste in the video so just go down in the description and copy this little section into this text file control C control V and you don't need to change any of this information all you want to do is press file and save and then exit out of there So after creating that batch file, we've essentially laid down all the groundwork for creating this server. So now I'm going to go over and open up MCSS. Now whenever you open this for the first time, it's probably going to look a little bit different than mine. Uh, there's probably going to be a little gray button here that says create server. Um, but as you can see up here, I've created a couple myself. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click create server. And you're going to pop up this little menu here. Um, for the, this video's purposes, we're going to be running with Spigot. That's what I have the most experience with and it's also the most used. 
Um, so this little window is going to prompt you to enter in your server name. Um, I'm just going to type in tutorial and it's going to update the bottom line. Um, these two options here on the side really don't need to worry about changing uh, for the sake of this video. Server RAM is just essentially explains how much memory your server is going to take up on your computer. It's not going to necess excuse me, necessarily take up that much space, um, but that's the max that it could take up. So unless you're running like a bunch of plugins or like more than 10 or 15 people, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, server port 25565 is the default Minecraft server. Um, Port. Since this is your first time creating a server, you probably just need to leave the number this. Um, but because I've already created a Minecraft server before, I'm going to need to specify a new port. So I'm just going to type in 25568. And then I'm going to go down and click this little button and highlight it to green and press next. Alright, so the next window you're going to be prompted to download the jar file for the server. You're going to click on this first little link right here. All right, now this first link actually does not work. Uh, the site is down currently, so you're going to click the second one, Get Bucket, and it's going to pull up your web browser. And you got three options essentially right here. Uh, you're going to click on Spigot, and you're going to find the most current version. It's going to be positioned at the top of the screen. Um, at the top, at the time that I create this video, the version could be newer. Um, so you're just going to want to click the one on the top and you're going to want to select download and then click spigot 1.13.2 or whatever the most current version you have. Once again it's going to go into my downloads folder. Alright and once you download the spigot file um, you're going to want to drag it into your MC server soft. Go back to this menu it's kind of clunky Alright, once you've downloaded the file, just click uh, this next button down here. And then you're going to want to browse for your file, or you can just drag and drop. Um, but it's saved to my download, so I'm going to click Spigot 113.2, and then Next. Now, it's showing the Spigot jar file right here, and you just want to press Update, and then you get that nice little green check. You press Finish, and then you've got another little green check to show step one is complete. And you're going to want to go over step two, just click create server, a nice little simple check right there. Press next once more. All right, and you've essentially set up your server in the most basic way possible. Uh, you're going to want to click finish. And as you'll see, a tab will pop up on the top of your screen. Um, so tutorial is what I just named it. So you're going to want to go over this drop down menu and click start. This is going to boot up your server and I'm getting a little notification that my server is outdated. But no no worries, that is the whole reason we downloaded the buildtools.jar file. Um, it's used to patch your server to the most current uh, version. So although it says that it's outdated, your server will still launch. Um, but I would not recommend playing on a server that is outdated. So you're not going to be able to update the server without stopping your server. So you're going to want to go up to dashboard and then click stop. So now we're going to get into something a little bit more complicated. Um, but have no fear, I've tried to simplify this as much as I can. Uh, so you can go ahead and close out MC ServerSoft. And you're going to want to navigate to where you saved your ServerSoft software. Um, like I said earlier in the video, mine is in the E drive under MCSS. And you're going to click on that. And you've kind of got a couple of files in here, two folders. You're going to click on servers. And then you can see your server name. Mine's going to be tutorial. That's the newest one I just created. Just click on that folder. And once you've clicked that pull folder, you're going to see a lot of different files in here. You're going to see spigot.jar, but unfortunately this is the outdated file. So we're going to want to go over to that initial folder we created named tut. And we're going to copy and paste both of the files into the server folder. So now I've got build tools and start.bat in the folder. You're going to want to double click start.bat and a command window will come up. 
it's going to begin installing the files and it may take five to six minutes that's how long it took for me but then it'll prompt you at the end to press any key to continue you're going to want to go ahead and press enter so now you can take a look in your MC server soft folder go to the server folder that you created and you'll notice some new files in the mix you'll now see craft bucket 113.2 and spigot 113 jar one cool thing is that you can drag the craft bucket jar into a craft bucket server if that's what you created earlier um, it kind of gives you all the files so you're going to want to go back over to MCSS and go down to toolbox and make sure that your tab is selected on tutorial or whatever you named your world and you're going to go down to update server and then you're going to click the next button and like you did earlier you're going to navigate to the file that you want to upload but we're going to click spigot 113.2 this time instead of the spigot.jar and it highlights green and you can go ahead and press next and then once again press update and you get the green check and then finish now we can navigate back to the dashboard click on the server server tab and then click on the drop down menu and click start and once this finishes loading we shouldn't be prompted with any blue text saying that we are outdated anymore just give that one second and once that's finished we're going to want to minimize MCSS and we're going to move on to the port forwarding section of the video so you're going to want to open up your web browser and then come down to your search bar and type in CMD that opens up the command prompt we're going to try to figure out how you're going to get in to your uh, router uh, so you're going to type in IP config and enter and you're going to scroll up to where it says default gateway minus 10.0.0.1 and I'm just going to type that right into the web browser on Google Chrome uh, your number is probably going to be a little bit different than mine um, depending on your router and internet provider but I go through Xfinity uh, by default your username and password should be admin and password and you're just going to want to click login And you're going to want to navigate around the screen and try to find something about port forwarding or port triggering. Uh, mine is under the advanced tab. So you're just going to click that. And then you're going to want to go over to add service or create port. And you're going to want to select other. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine MC Server 2 since I've already got the first one service type TCP slash UDP and then the server IP IPv4 address you can just click on connected to device if it has that feature and uh, as you see the device name Jake's monster PC that's the name of my PC you just click add and it automatically inserts that little IP address for your computer um, for some reason if you aren't able to click the little button you can navigate back to your IP config and scroll up and you can go under IPv4 address and it shows the exact same number the 10.0.0.220 but your number is probably going to be a little bit different so after that you're going to want to go down to this start port and most of you are going to want to put 25565 if this is your first server but since this is my second server I've got to specify a separate port so I'm going to type in 25568 like I did when creating the server through MCSS and you want to type in that same thing in this end port 25565 or 68 for my purposes and then press save 
and then after that this is going to allow you to connect to your Minecraft server so you're going to want to minimize out of that or just close it out you can close that IP config we're going to open up Minecraft select your most current version And you're going to want to click multiplayer, direct connect, and I'm just going to delete this for sake of the video. And you want to go over to your server on the dashboard and click copy IP to clipboard, control V. And if this is your first server, you actually don't need any of the numbers after the, the semicolon, but your friends are definitely going to have to type in that number. Um, but you could just get away with the first four sets of numbers prior to the semicolon. And just like that, you join your own Minecraft server. I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I know it was a little long, but I wanted to be as thorough as possible. Uh, if there's any ways that I can improve in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. This has been Jake. I'll catch you in the next one.